Techovation released a new dynamic resonance suppressor to fix mud and unwanted harshness in your mix. But how does it stand up to Soothe 2 and the big boys? Let's take a look. But first, please like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon below. Plus, you can get awesome plugin deals at Plugin Boutique with my affiliate link. And head over to palebluedot.ca for freebies. This is M Clarity. And once again, it gets the default house techovation graphical interface treatment with a giant control dial and neighboring game meters, plus important parameters below. You also get tool tips to help explain what everything is. And for those of you who've used Oak Sound Soothe 2, the controls would be quite familiar. Suppression controls the overall amount of the dynamic suppression effect. Intensity controls the scale of the resonances that M Clarity targets. At lower settings, it'll work more on smaller resonances while maintaining the overall balance. At higher settings, it'll make more wideband corrections, affecting the average tone more. Focus further refines the correction by allowing you to focus more on the main spectrum at lower settings or just the strongest resonances at higher settings. In other words, it gets more picky the higher it goes. Here's an example. I have an old lousy mix with lots of resonances in the mids here. If I put focus all the way to zero, then turn up the suppression, the signal becomes much less harsh. But if I turn up the focus, more of the original signal comes back in, as M Clarity is only looking for the strongest frequencies. You can really hear the fizzy tones in the guitars come back in here. It's still being processed, just not as broadly. And also we can adjust the intensity to suppress the resonances more broadly by turning it up. On a nasty mix like this, it seems to help make the overall spectrum less grating, but more conservative settings would be recommended in most cases. Again, these three controls are quite similar to Soothe 2, so users of that will feel right at home. And we can see what M Clarity is doing to the mix with the spectrum analyzer mostly reducing frequencies in the mid range, and when I switch to peak view from average, it seemed to be correcting a bump in the low mids too, generally evening things out. Good stuff. You also get soft and hard processing, which is pretty self-explanatory. I find there's a subtle difference between these two settings, a little harder to hear than other plugins. If I use the difference audition, nice feature to have, I can hear a small jump of about two to three dB between the two settings, but I only hear the difference in processing at very high amounts. I found I stuck with the hard processing the whole time, and it doesn't sound that hard. Thankfully, M Clarity allows you to focus the processing on a specific range. Now, it doesn't give you a full equalizer to control the response, but it's usually only a small range we're looking to control resonances in anyway, and this is a simple solution. You can adjust, move, or enter precise amounts. You can audition the filter here as well to hear what it's doing. Great for finding your annoying frequencies or to avoid affecting your hi-hats and cymbals. Other features of note are, you can shift processing from left, right, or stereo or switch to mid-side mode and apply the processing more or exclusively to the mono or stereo image very useful if you hear your resonances are coming from a reverb in the stereo field, for example. So my first impression of M Clarity is, this sounds quite good. 
It does seem to respect the tone and dynamics of the original signal. I don't hear a lot of pumping or artifacts like I did with Waves Factory Equalizer at aggressive settings. It actually reminds me of one specific plugin and it begs the question. How does this stand up to Soothe 2? I'm going to take a minute here and see if I can match them. I'll set Soothe 2's low and high cut filters to 300Hz and 3kHz, just like M Clarity. Interesting. I find Soothe 2 works on the high end a bit more, even with that 3kHz high cut filter on. And something to note, there is actually a gain output adjustment over here on the left. I didn't see this at first, I expected this to be over on the right where the output meter is, but here it is. I find the gain compensation is good on M Clarity, but I kind of needed to adjust a little bit to get it to parity. Okay, so I can actually get these pretty close. There's a high-end resonance on the drone guitar lead that Soothe 2 completely eliminated. But M Clarity is very comparable in how it cleans up the bulk of the mid range. And if you find you're losing too much mid range, increasing focus can help you recover more of your original tone. It's always a balance with these things. It's a cliche, but you gotta use your ears with these dials to get it sounding right. Again, I'm really impressed with how hard you can push M Clarity without hearing any nasty artifacts. I find Soothe can sound like mush pretty quickly. So this is a very nice feature for mastering. Well, in my last episode, I thought I'd found the low-cost alternative to Soothe 2, Waves Factory Equalizer. Watch my video on this if you haven't already. But now, M Clarity has to be considered. They both have very similar pricing, and they're both on sale as of the publishing of this video. And I'll post an exclusive coupon code for 30% of all Techovation products below if you need some time to think about it. But M Clarity's focus on simplicity and, well, clarity, really makes it a desirable option. I found it to be far less artifacty at higher settings than Equalizer. And sure, you don't have the extra EQ nodes that Soothe and Equalizer offer, but the very clean sound, even at strong settings, really sets this apart. So for those of you looking for a good resonance suppressor, definitely grab this and check out the demo. Between this and Equalizer, spectral correction is really coming to the masses. Use my links below to purchase M Clarity or my affiliate link for Plugin Boutique and check out my other spectral correction videos in this playlist. Let me know what you thought of M Clarity in the comments below. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, mix well.